Hey my love bugs, welcome back to Honey TV 2. Here we are with another channel message. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, because I'm tired tonight. So let's go ahead and tap in and see what messages we got for y'all. We got together resolving to make things work between you two. So this is a past person still trying to come back. Okay, they want to fix some things. They want to have some type of reconciliation. They want to resolve whatever's been broken between y'all. We got psychic. What you expect is really the truth. Trust your gut feelings. Look for the signs. So you can feel this person coming towards you. You can feel this person about to reach out to you, um, even in the midst of wherever they're at or whatever they're doing, whoever they're with. You can feel the tele the you can feel and hear the telepathic messages that they're sending to you. You can feel this person energy that they're constantly projecting onto you, trying to make sure you still feel about them the way that they feel about you. Okay. I swear I'd be trying to get off the path first, but y'all seen what came out together. Resolving to make things work between you, okay? And you can feel this person's energy. We got tempting. When choosing between two evils, pick the one you haven't tried. Okay, so I feel like this person did that and found out that they should have stayed uh, with the waterfalls that they were used to. <laughs> yeah, we got a union. They went out in adventure. They went out in Rome. They went out, you know, and experienced other people, places, and things. Our Punani, so um, Peen or Punani or whatever. And they found out that, you know, they should have stayed with the waterfalls that they were used to. And they want to come back for this union. Okay, they like, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait. I don't know why I heard that like that. But nah, for real. And then we got union. You met the match to your vibration. You are never alone. Spirit walks with you. Again, you feel this person constantly projecting their energy onto you. Constantly trying to see if you're still interested in this reconciliation. Progress. Yesterday plan is today's progress. You grow from the inside out. So keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep moving forward. Keep choosing you. Keep, keep healing. Okay? That's what's honestly bringing this person towards you. You being you and your authentic self, you choosing you, you healing you, you, whatever it is that you're doing, you're healing yourself and you're going through a, a radical rebirth. You are going through a process every single day, excuse me, progress, a process to progress every single day. Healing, bring the past to light to learn from it. Let the past go to truly move forward. That's what you've been doing and this person can feel that and that's honestly what's bringing them towards you. I look good, you can back with you good, I look fly, I look too good to tell my mama. Yeah, you and your bag, baby. You and your energy and your spirituality and your financial bag, your mental bag, whatever it is that you doing, you working on you. We got come and go being in and out of love with each other. So this is somebody that you've had a lot of come and go in and out, on and off with. I feel like they're ready to stop the the back and forth and actually solidify it. They could have been somewhere um, and chose to stay there for a long time or whatever, or chose to work it out with them or wherever they chose and went towards. And now they're realizing that, hey, I should actually put this, this progress and this interest into the collective. Opening, release expectations of what should be. Embrace the gifts that are coming for you. Security. Need to feel safe and spend time together. And happiness. You deserve to be fulfilled and content. Enjoy the good times. Choose to be happy. Put that on my mama. On my... The cat must be playing with the thing. Why my internet just go out? On my phone. Or at least it did on my phone. But anyway, the Wi-Fi. What else? Last card we got fulfilled. Trying to satisfy every need for each other. Baby. Wish you could. What else is going on with this? I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So we in and out. I did a lot of work today. Housework, spiritual work. Working on me. Okay. Like we were just working today. Um, Did my work out. And I actually added a lot more to it today. So. Yeah, I'm 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 not gonna be here for long, y'all. Yeah. What else is going on with this energy of this wanting to resolve things with the that's too many. Okay, so you guys could have a lot of things that y'all need to resolve, a lot of conversation that's needs to be had. 
We got, I talk to God about you. So this person prays to the most high about you. I still listen to the playlist you sent me. Battle of a tug of war between the mind and the heart. I swear out of all these cards, that card keeps coming out. Girl, what else is going on in this energy? I don't want to be with them, but I feel like I can't leave. Spiritual alignment. 10, 10, 4, 4, 4, 55, 55, 12, 12, 11, 11, 33, 33, 27, 27, 32, 23. We got listening to these goofies. Got me all fucked up. People, please, you're naive. Lack of self-direction, follower, easily influenced. I still want the family we plan. And I feel myself transforming every day. Phoenix rising energy. I swear, I be trying to get away from the past person energy, but they just keep coming out. It's because they all... Because they hope and pray that you're still in love with them. They always got you on their mind. I be trying to get out the past energy, but I can't help what comes up. I'm just, I'm just, I just show up and do my job, y'all. That's it. <laughs> what else does this person want the collective to know about how they feeling? <clears throat> what else does this person want the collective to know about this reconciliation is resolved that they want to come to? We got conflict and defeat. Clarify this conflict in the field. Hope in reverse. They're not sure if they can actually have this reconciliation with you. We got positive movement forward with the universe. But God has got his hand in this. Y'all are destined to be each other. That is your divine partner, your soulmate, your twin flame, whatever name you want to give them. Um, that is your divine partner and who you're supposed to be with this lifetime and who you have a sacred contract with to fulfill. So God is working. Look, sacral chakra. God is working to bring this union back together. Okay. Even if you think that it's not happening, this person could think that it's not happening. You could think that it's, I'm hearing dead and gone, dead and gone. So you could think that it's over. Oh, I've been driving down this road too long, too long. It's been a long time since you guys um been in each other. Energy could have even had like intimacy with another, chilled, hung out, talked on the phone, text, had a cordial conversation, whatever. It's been a long time. But God got his hand all up in this, okay? I feel like the power is a justice card. Yep. With this partner in the alliance. Y'all had to go through this emotional loss. I had to go through this separation in order. Yep, rest and rejuvenate. In order to figure out what, what you actually want and heartache and loss. Movement choices and decisions can't make it up. So, expect a reconciliation even if y'all don't want one. I swear I was trying not to tap into this past person. But that's the first card that came out was past energy. So, there is someone that is definitely thinking about reconciliation whether they actually move on it or not is a whole different story but they damn sure thinking about it recognition and reward thinking about pouring into you what you already deserve we got choose wisely and discontent and boredom like i was saying earlier they roamed yep obstacles and challenges they roamed and they experienced other poo -nanny. hi daniel they experienced other peen flip flop your own self or whatever but they went out and they experienced the world and they found out that they, they'll rather be um, in the world than of the world. They'll rather be with you. I'm here. Um, I'd rather be with you and all your bullshit. Can't make it up. I'd rather be with you and all your bullshit. <laughs> you. Yeah, this person would rather be with you and all your bullshit. Patiently planning and crown chakra. I'm here, um, what's that song? It's Lil' Kim. Make it louder. Um, okay, so now I'm hearing a different part. He might, she might be where he at, but I'm where you want to be, baby, baby. But that ain't the part that I heard the first time. The first, the first time was like, um, let a dog roam, he with her for now. But little do she know, she just the rebound. Calling my phone, you so out of pocket. I've been there before. Girl, you need to stop it. So... You could be in the energy of knowing, like, you know, this connection was was a rebound connection. You know, you just got over, you got under one to get over another one. But the whole time, I, I got your heart in my back pocket. So you really still ain't get over me. Never, you never, you never get over me. I get a lot of channel songs during my read, but not back to back to back to back like this. So this person could be musically inclined or they like music. Um... Or they use music as a form of expressing their emotions, expressing their feelings. Um, we did see that they still listen to the playlist that you sent them. 
if you sent them a playlist that may not be for everybody but they still listen to feel your energy on the playlist that you sent them as well okay but this could be someone that sends you a lot of um music telepathy messages as well yeah about you guys reconciliating they sent a lot of um we got 50 we got 555 five, five out here and 33 out here um, but they could send you a lot of messages via music about reconciliating, about how sorry they am, how they want to, um, resolve this issue and possibly create a new firm foundation with one another. But yeah, they're, they, they like music. Yeah. They trying to let you know that, Hey, I want to start over. I want to come towards you. Heart chakra. It's open towards you now. Solitude. I don't have time. Let a dog roam. He with her now, but little did she know she just the rebound. So yeah, I, they don't have time to. To go explore, look, and to find their balance, to open up their heart chakra. You could be receiving a lot of music telepathy messages. Because all I want to do is sing. I swear, it's so many songs coming through. I feel like I just want to sing the whole fucking reading. And like, yeah, like, go, y'all can go listen to the song. I don't know. This could be somebody that listens to music when they're sad or they're trying to figure things out or get a grip on life. I don't know. Their favorite artist could be Rod Wave. We got emo. I can't make this shit up. When they're trying to figure out life, they 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 submerge themselves in, in music. Okay, their favorite their favorite artists don't have to be Rod Wave, but they could listen to a lot of Rod Wave and or Kevin Gates. I heard that as well. We got uh, Sacrifice coming out. Music is a safe place. Music. Look, I can't make it up. Music is a safe place where they feel powerful. Ace of Swords. But basically, the justice coming out. You feel me? So, music make them feel powerful, make them feel like they can conquer or give them a sense of, of sanity, a sense of clarity, a sense of peace. Then this ain't for you, damn. I mean, maybe it is. You know, your person could be coming back to you and you just gonna dub their ass, you know? But shit, I mean, I can't control what come out. The first card was together trying to resolve what y'all went through. So, I mean, take the parts that resonate with you and leave with don't, baby. But if you know you ain't taking this person back, just listen in to see how they feel then. I mean, but I can't control what come out, baby. I can't control it, but we got light. And financial material changes with solitude and mental conflict. Yeah, what was I saying about the music? When they're going through a lot, that music gives them downloads. That, that music gives them energy make them feel i don't know like they got their shit together or, or like it's kind of like when i was on my shroom trip but like my my i think it was like my second or third shroom trip i knew everything when i say everything i knew everything every fucking thing that's what i'm getting from this light card like music unlocks a part of their brain that i don't know it, it the shit start working together or something it's like they can work the left and right side of their brain or whatever they become this type of fucking genius or some shit when they listen to music like i don't know but i'm getting reminded of my my shroom trip and i knew when i say every i knew everything everything until i start coming down <laughs> i knew every fucking thing and that could be what this person gets when they're in that musical energy what else is going on spirit yeah i can't for some reason, we staying on mute. This is a musically inclined person. They could be an artist, a musician, or they could just like music. But this is someone that's musically inclined, and they gain a lot of awareness and wisdom from music, okay? And they send you, I can't make it up, Destiny, and they send you a lot of uh, music telepathy. A lot of mu musical telepathy. What else is going on with this spirit? <laughs> you said I'm fired up ready because they asked. Oh, you like, come on. Just come on. Come come tell me you want me, bitch. <laughs> I got something for your ass. That's what you sound like. <laughs> you, 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 uh, I can see like somebody like in the come on. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. <laughs> I can't wait for you to tell me you miss me so I can flame your ass the fuck up. This car is not supposed to be in here. Yet we got triumph. They definitely come to us. They come in collection. Why is these cards mixed in with these? Hold on. Let's see what these are. They coming in, they coming in about this, this memory of love. Let's see what this one is. Because these ain't in this transformation. These ain't even supposed to be in this deck. This the other deck. But yes, they coming in about these memories of love. Because they want to create something new with you. They want to uh, 
gain a, a stable foundation and transfer something when it comes to this divine union, baby. They not letting you go. And even again, earlier, like I was saying, you might think it's dead and gone, dead and gone. I'm hearing that again. Oh, I've been driving down this road too long, too long. Trying to find my way back home, back home. No means dead and gone, dead and gone. You might feel like this shit is over. Shit, they might think this shit is over. But baby, do the most high, do the infinite intelligent of the all got something else in plan for y'all niggas? We got nurture, heal, and win or lose. And crown chakra. Y'all are reconciliating, okay? Those of you that have a sacred contract. If you do not have a sacred contract, then you're going to be able to just throw this person off to the side and go about your motherfucking business. But if you had a sacred contract with this person, you're going to end up with this person. It doesn't matter if it takes three years, five years, ten years. You don't end up with this person. They're going to end up back on your path, and you guys are going to become one. Look, master. After they master their heart, after you guys master your emotion, after you fully finish heal and forgiving them. You know, forgiveness isn't for, for the other person. It's for you. It's to help you release and move on. Yeah, to, for you to continue to stay in divine flow. To stay in your your uh, currency, which is your energy, and get out of this deception and envy. We got believe and succeed, throat chakra. Listen. This may not be for you, Daniel. But somebody is reconciliating because they got a sacred contract, love abounds. It ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. And if you like fuck that contract, if that's how you feel, then maybe this ain't for you. But baby, this is for somebody that got a sacred contract and it ain't going no, it ain't going no well until it's fulfilled. We got just breathe and love. <laughs> Y'all think y'all think y'all ain't gonna be with this person. Shit. The most high said what I say. <laughs> That's like with our kids. They be like, but mom, we be like, what I say. But dad, what I say. Yeah, oh, yeah, I right. I hear you. <laughs> look, 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 I cut the deck the lies you I hear you. I hear you, I hear you, baby. I hear you. But this game is rigged. It's a rigged game. All right. It's a rigged game, and it's rigged with you being with the collective, not you personally, Daniel, but with the collective being with their masculine or their feminine. It's a rigged game, baby. The lies you tell. Yeah, all right. Okay, you think you got one. We got dreams and lovers and friends. Very clear side of the dreams. I heard no escapism. So you're not going to be able to escape this person. You're not going to be able to escape this person, collective. They're coming back. And this energy keep coming up every read. Like, every read. Every read. I think it's only been one read that I... So, it's definitely somebody in on the Facebook that somebody's going to get a reconciliation with. Because every read, when I'm going live on Facebook as well, it's always a relationship read. It's only one read that I did that wasn't relationship. And that's because I told my spirit guys, I don't want to talk about that shit. And they actually listened. <laughs> they listened that day. They ain't listened today. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> this person coming back. <laughs> you stay in this person's dream. You stay in their mind, baby. You and they hurt. They can't let you go. You think it's over. You think it's over. You think it's over, baby. Hold that control and shit. All right, we got guilty as charged. So this person has been doing a lot of thinking and, and um, reminiscing. Yeah, we got jinx, drinks of pain. So guilty as charged and drinks of pain. This person has been taking a lot of, excuse me, confirmation. And that felt, I didn't even notice, that felt right on top of, excuse me, throat chakra. So this person has been coming to a lot of self-reflection, self-accountability, has been taking time to know that when they point a the finger three, it's pointing back at them. And it I heard it take two to tango. So they could have been trying to blame you for how things have um, ended in the relationship or how you moved. And they have to realize, like, you know, every action has a reaction. Like, you get what I'm saying? There's a cause and effect to everything. So I feel like they're starting to realize that for themselves. 
And they're start, starting to like have that aha moment. Like, oh, I actually played a part too. I could try to pull on it. I don't really sit too much in Zodiacs because we, we are all the Zodiacs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Unless you don't have one in your, in your chart or whatever. But, I mean, we can tap into all the energies. So, I really don't sit too much on Zodiacs. But I'll try to pull and see what come out. We got Magical Moments and Lover and Friends. And Time Stamp. Yeah, this is not over. We got Free to Go and Holding on. Listen, they left. They walked away. But, baby, they've been holding on to you the whole time. I don't care what they've been doing, who they've been with, who they've been showing off or not showing off. If they've been quiet and secretive, whatever. If you don't know what's going on with them or you think you know what's going on with them, you don't know what's going on with them. You might see what's happening externally, but baby, inside their mind and their heart and their feelings and their emotions, it's all about you. I'm here. So I used to, I, I say this saying about my son. I'd be like, been about Ja, still about Ja. And I just heard that. So somebody in their energy is like, been about the collective, still about the collective. Been about Ja, still about Ja. Yeah, they been about, look, butterfly effect. They been about the collective, still about the collective. Ain't nothing changed. My fair lady. We got fuck love aftermath, but it fell straight down with lovely pictures at the bottom of the deck. They was trying to say fuck you. They was trying to move on. Look, who do you love? And every time that they was with this karmic, this third party, they don't necessarily have to be a karmic, but this third party, whoever that they chose, whatever they went towards. As they continue to be in that, that relationship, they was comparing you to them. They kept asking themselves, why am I here? Who do I really love? Like, not just who they love, but I feel like they grew to love this third party or this karmic. Like, you know, when you are with someone for so long, you do grow to love them. So I feel like they did grow some type of connection or some love for this person, but they're still in love with you. What else is going on with this spirit? We got deadly words and the last laugh. So this may end with some type of argument. Yep, we got rigged games at the bottom of the deck. So this may end with some type of argument with this third party, the karmic, whoever, and your person. Look, who do you love coming back out? Yeah, this may end with some type of argument. Motherfuckers might go home to start an argument because they need to come back to this love like fire, dead peacocks in reverse because they know that this isn't over. They know that this isn't over. It, I heard the inevitable. So they've been, um, I don't know what word I'm trying to use, but basically putting off the inevitable. Yeah, we got the pleading man and sailing ship. Been putting off coming back to you, opening up Pandora's box, expressing their feelings. I feel like it's going to be a whole lot. I don't know why I heard hooping and hollering. Okay, so some people may have a lot to say when this person comes back towards you or they find out that you guys are back together. Um, it's going to be a lot of hooping and hollering and a lot of people having a lot of different opinions. But this is your well your, your well deserved reward and love, baby. It's your well deserved reward and love. Why is my internet keep going out? It's on the computer. Okay, my Wi-Fi wasn't on. That's why. That's why I'm like, why it keep going out? <laughs> my Wi-Fi wasn't on. Okay. Yeah, we got choose your battles and spread your wings and take the lead. I'm here. Come buy you a drink. Ooh, I'm going to take you home with me. I got money in the bank. Show me what you think about that. Find me in the great Cadillac in the bed. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. This person could want to take you on a date. Uh, joints to bleed at the bottom of the day. They could want to buy you a drink. They want to get in your drink. <laughs> you might have some nasty runch sex, not some nasty runchy sex when you drunk or whatever. I don't know why I got love coming out. You might got some nancy runchy sex when you when y'all drinking, baby. Um, they they want to do it. They want to do it to you. That's all they think about and daydream about. Hi, my love bug. How you doing? I'm so happy that you're here. Yep, we got love abounds. Ooh, 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 ooh. We in the bed like, yeah, this person trying to put you in the bed. Uh, uh. Let me pull a couple of these real quick. Because, again, I ain't here for a long time. I'm just here for a good time. I'm going to bed tonight. I ain't about to be on here for no hour tonight. Mm, let me see. We got 24 minutes. Probably do like 10 more. 
and we're going to wrap it up. If y'all are watching and you're interested in a personal read, go ahead and hit the see more. Choose your options in your payment. Get in where you fit in before I hop off of here. All right, all right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get some, some messages. We got half on a baby on top. Yeah, this person. Mm -mm -mm. They could, did, did that come out earlier? I think that did come out earlier that they still want the family that y'all playing. Did that? Oh, I must have shuffled it back in because it ain't at the bottom of the deck. I talked to, hold on, it at the top. No, I want, it was, I want to be with them, but I feel like I can't leave. All right, Spirit, what's going on with this sexual energy? This person could have a foot fetish. Thank you, love bug. I'm happy that you're here and you're enjoying it. Because shit, I ain't everybody cup of tea, but I'm somebody double shot of vodka, baby. Listen, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm happy you're enjoying it. But this person could have a foot fetish. Um, We got an affirmation with every stroke. So y'all guys could have been into sex magic, speaking affirmations over one another. Bomb ass. Bomb ass intercourse. Okay? So they missed that about you too. You, I can't make this shit up. You gave them God, goddess sex. Have you ever had sex with a god or a goddess? Baby, that's how they feel about you collective and affirmation with every stroke. You you had that good loving. You got that, not had. You got that good loving, huh? That good, good. I'm here, um, young love, young love. Something, something, something that. Young love. Who's that? I think Chris Brown. We got candle and dim lights. Oh, you used to put it on this person real good. <laughs> you used to make it a whole shindig, huh, man? Yep, a whole shindig of intimacy. Can I please you forever? Yeah, this this person miss your sex therapy. They 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 they, they want to get you in the bedroom ASAP, 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 ASAP. Um, be careful, cleanse they cleanse they um they sacral shocker that did come out earlier in the read um. Cleanse their energy, especially their sexual chakra energy, because you don't know who been harvesting their energy or who energy they've been harvesting. So before you just jump in the bed with this person, because I feel like you want to jump in the bed with this person too. Before you do that, um, just cleanse both both of you guys. Okay, make sure that the energy is pure or at least neutral, not low vibration. What else is going on with this sex energy spirit? Hold on. Yeah, I could have done that i ain't gonna say the word but y'all could have done that y'all can read okay so it's somebody that y'all was nasty with y'all was nasty nasty lights camera y'all was nasty nasty baby lights camera action faster slow we're gonna get a few more than we get out this energy uh how many is that that's three give me two more spirit okay that's all we gonna take so many trying to come out oh my goodness Y'all used to do a lot of things to each other. A lot of things. I don't know why foot fetish keep wanting to, keep wanting to slide back out. So this person could have had a foot fetish. You could have a foot fetish. Um, y'all like to put the little um, perfume on your ankles when y'all putting it over their shoulders or something like that. Like you feel me and they used to suck on your toes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it was something. Oh, shit. This person want to do a lot to you. You see all these cards that came out? And I only asked for five. I had three. I asked for two more. And all these, they want to do a lot to you, baby. We got choke me, choke me, slap me, fuck me. They want to do everything. Tell me exactly what you want me to do to you. Oh, this person missed your loving bad. Toss each other's salad. Y'all was, y'all, y'all did y'all thing in that bedroom with this person. Baby, y'all was exploring each other's bodies without any type of remorse or boundaries. Like that was your person, so it it makes sense. But y'all was y'all was. Ex I can't make this shit up. Don't be shy. <laughs> Don't be shy. And y'all was not shy with one another at all. Loving each other back to life. They could have been the munchiest munch in a munch bunch. You could have been the munchiest munch in a munch bunch. Okay, or a throat goat, however you want to say it. But. Mm -mm -mm. And y'all will go constant rounds. We got another round. Slob on my neck. This or that. So y'all could play a lot of games in the bedrooms as well to spice it up. Can I put it in your butt? <laughs> All right, we getting off the edge. Ah, 
Y'all could have did a lot of laughing during sex too. Because I don't know why pulling these cards made me so giddy and like it's so funny. I don't know why. So y'all could have just really had a time. Like y'all was exploring one another. Like y'all took time to to really build an emotional, physical, mental bond. So it's like sex wasn't just sex. It was everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was the intimacy. It was the foreplay. It was the actual penetration. Like, it was everything. Everything? Everything. I spirit. Uh, anything else you want the collected to know before we go ahead and wrap this up? We got the Eight of Pentacles and the Star. This could be a, a Earth sign. This could be a, a Water sign. The Devil is what Capricorn energy. I think so. And we got the King of Swords. So we got Air, Earth, Water. And Capricorn. And we got the Ace of Swords out here. This person is thinking about how they can get away from whoever the devil is. Because I like to, because let me find the card for y'all so y'all can see it. Because everybody be thinking I be tripping when I say this. But if you look at the cards, you're going to understand why I say it. So hold on. Let me find it for y'all. <laughs> the lovers. So I like to say that the lovers and the devil is different sides to the same coins. And if you look at the cards, don't they look like different sides to the same coins? <laughs> so I feel like this person is trying to figure out how they're going to get away from this devil energy and, and come towards the lovers, come towards you. How they're going to be able to look. We got the three of swords. They're going to have to break some hearts in the a, in a in a, in a process, though. The same way that your heart was broken when this person abandoned you, when this person chose someone over you or just chose not to fight for this connection. The same way that your heart was broken, they're going to have to leave someone else in brokenhearted energy as well. Yep. We got the Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands in order to, to bring you this love to be able to start all over with you. I heard the same way you got them is the same way you lose them. We got the Six of Swords, the Chariot, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, with the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. If this person chose someone over you with the high priestess, they're going to have to choose you over that person. I mean, you may not be going for that shit. We got the three of wands. You, you may not be going for that shit, but they're going to try it. <laughs> they're going to try it. We got the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. But they, I don't think they think it's going to work, though, especially with the five of pentacles and eight of swords because they left you out on the cold for so long. They abandoned you. Like, it was, I don't know why I wouldn't say it was the dead of winter. They didn't have to be the dead of winter like the season, but like that's how they left you though. Like in the dead of winter. In in the nine of swords energy. Out in the cold with no place to go. And why they just mosey on on with with the fool, with their new lover or their new friend or whatever. We got the page of swords. I want to take these cards, baby. I gotta get a new deck of this one. You can tell these my old faithfuls, baby. They all back all fucked up. Well, this is my first deck ever. <laughs> but they all fucked up. My old faithful. I'm going to have to get me another deck of this. Yeah, we got the tower. They're thinking about how they're going to close this out. they definitely thinking about how they're going to close this out and bring this to a shoe. It's going to be some heartbreaker. It's going to be some... Uh, what is that? Um, It's a biggie joint. It's going to be some black dresses and flower bringing. Some shit like that. But... Yeah, this person... They about to break some hearts to come towards you. We got the five of wands with the two of cups. Yeah. They about to risk it all. Are you ready for them to risk it all? Because they coming towards you to risk it all. Then. They is about to start a whole argument with this person. Look, five of pentacles. They about to put themselves out in the cold for this death and this rebirth. So this possibility of this ace of cups, baby, for who they love, they about to put they self out in the cold. You ever, you ever seen a motherfucker make them, they make themselves homeless on purpose? This about to be this. Okay, they about to be, especially if they live with this third party or this karmic or whatever. Oh, baby, they about to be out in the streets back at their mama house. 
Shit, if they them and their child's father or child's mother is cool, they might be at their baby mama house, they, their cousin house, but they have to put their ass out in the cold for you, baby. Mark my motherfucking word. What else is going on with this thing? Here we go. We got daydreaming. I'm always longing for you, baby. They about to go back to their mama house for you. I want to tell you the truth. Reveal. So, yeah. They, <laughs> they about to go back to Mama Dukes for you. For, I can't make this shit up for this reunion. They going back to Mama Dukes house. I don't know why I didn't go live on YouTube. Because I didn't expect to be here that damn long. That's why. Um, But... They about to end up back at Mama Duke's house. <laughs> Anything else here from this deck? By lying, I ripped this apart. Dishonesty. We got a new chapter, but they want to start something new with you. They, they want to right their wrong. They want to have that conversation that they need to have in order to have this reunion. They love you. Look, they love you, collective. They want to bring you a gift so bad. They gift of love. They gift of love. So how are they going to come towards the collective? We got courthouse and message. Some of y'all might... No, why would they jump out with an automatic proposal? Official person call. This person may come off the rip trying to propose to you. Or giving you a, I'm hearing, yes, I like your promise, promise, promise ring. Or give you a promise ring. But this person won't come off the bet with some type of commitment. The number 23 could be significant to you and or them or whatever. But they coming back with some type of commitment, some type to solidify something. We got mature men, poverty with despair. But I feel like they think that that's like crazy. We got 32 at the bottom of the deck. They don't know if you're going to accept them back like that. But you look, official person showing itself again. But they want you bad. They need you. I'm here. I need you. What I got to do. Being out in the community. Been roaming. Doing a lot of shit. But all they do is think about you. They need you. It's not just they want you. They need you. Courtship. We got marriage trying to show it. So, yeah, this person is definitely going to be coming back with some type of promise ring. I don't know why I want to say animal. Okay, so if you're an animal type person, I don't know why I want to say fish. We got message. This person may bring you some pets. I don't know why I want to say that, but um, yeah, I heard miniatures. So this may be like a little miniature dog or some shit. I don't know, but I feel like this person is going to bring you something tangible, something that you can feel, whether it's a, a promise ring, an animal investing into your business, buying you some products or, or you know, whatever it is that you need some equipment, whatever it is. I feel like whatever this person brings back to you is going to be tangible. You're going to be able to feel it. You're going to be able to do something with it. Play with it. I don't know. Wear it. Some shit like that. Yeah, we got Toyo and Labor. They working on... Bring Look, I can't make it up. Unexpected increment at the bottom of the deck. They working right now. Saving their little coins to bring you something. And they are intentional about it, baby. Create the grid you want. What else is going on? Look, what the, look, they bringing you marriage. Unexpected income. Some of y'all are definitely, I be going to get proposed to. And you might be like, <laughs> no, we could be friends. Like, you know, I I take this as a promise ring. Like, yes, I rock your promise ring. Like, this will be a promise ring until we get to that level. <coughs> <coughs> Once we heal the communication. <coughs> you know, that's the second time I almost choked in this damn read. So somebody throw shocker could definitely be opening, but you could be like, you know, once we heal this foundation, once we heal this communication, once we heal what's been broken, then, you know, maybe possibly this could be, you know, turn into an engagement ring. But right now it's just a promise ring. But they are coming with the intentions of having something of longevity with you. Okay. Even if y'all don't get married, look, expectation, that's their expectation They have to gain some type of long long term foundation with you. Even if you guys don't get married right away, even if you play hard to get for a little bit, their intention is to solidify this relationship. We got coughing in reverse with child at the bottom of the deck. They don't want this to be over. No matter how they act, they don't want the look message of concern with main female. They about to they about to roast 
the shit out this karmic or about to start some shit in the household so they could leave. Unexpected income at the bottom of that unexpected argument. Look, because they want to come towards this privileged lady that they're distant away from. That they have placed themselves in distance from. Maybe we're going to put some little karmic messages because I mean... It sounds like it's going to be some karmic shit for them to um, close out this cycle. So we're going to pull a couple of them, but then I'm going to close this out. We got 39, 31. All right, so what else is going on with this energy? We got you're always on my mind. That you are. That you are, collecting. They couldn't forget you even if they try. And they try. Power could be a sign that's significant to you. And I said earlier in this reading that they a Kevin Gates fan. They a Kevin Gates or a Rod Wave fan. But I just seen Power and something was like, play it. So that could be significant to you or y'all relationship or connection or whatever. What else is going on? I feel like I stepped in quicksand. That's funny. That's a song that just went off. So maybe y'all need to listen to that. Quicksand is a song that was just playing. So I feel like I stepped in quicksand. I don't think things through. Very impulsive, emotional, mentally unstable. I'm not going to release you until your divine feminine or masculine doesn't want you anymore. Well, shit. They don't want you no more, Carmen. <laughs> Third party, whoever this energy is. Shit. The game or whatever you was doing backfired on you because they still want the collective. They don't want your ass. If I could turn back time, I would have did what I was supposed to do, and that was choose the collective. Baby. Okay, what else is going on in this energy? Letting you walk away is the biggest mistake I have ever made. Yeah. I heard, um, ha <laughs> ha. I just heard Uno reverse draw four. Okay, so I don't know what that may mean for somebody, but whatever this person was doing in this energy or this this karmic or third party was trying to stop your person from desiring you anymore, well, baby, it's an Uno reverse and draw four. Okay, now they're about to experience whatever energy that they was trying to create with you. And this person don't want this, this, this third party's karmic no more, baby. I get readings about our connections. Everything makes sense now. That's why they don't want that person no more. Because they tapping the fuck in. And life just isn't the same without you. So your person is becoming spiritually aware. Okay. Slowly but surely over time. They have been taking the time to become spiritually aware. I don't show it. But I'm very insecure. Yeah, what else is going on in this game? I'm experiencing everything I put you through. Karma reaping what I've sown. So this person has experienced whatever energy they've sent to you. Again, what I heard earlier, how you get them is how you lose them. Have truths of full-blown lies. Feeling like the class clown. So they've been coming into a lot of insight, especially with them getting these readings, with them tapping into their divine power, to them finally choosing themselves. They've been getting a lot of insight on some half-truths and full-blown lies that they were hearing or that they got. I thought I needed space, but I only needed you. For some reason, I saw when to start over, but okay. Um, seems like misery and chaos follows me everywhere. Power could have been y'all shit for some reason. Because this show just started over on this stuff. I tried to change it. But, okay, whatever. I went through their phone and found out about all the spill work they did on this. That's been coming out a lot lately as well. What else is going on here? That's too many. We'll take this one. Every time I see your name, I cringe. Here comes some more truth I don't want to face or want revealed. Life just isn't the same without you actually coming out. Jesus Christ. The veil has been listed, lifted 23, 23, 87, 87, 46, 46, 65, 65. 
Which makes sense that they'll be lifted because they now tapping into their spirituality and now getting readings on you. They they done they done got them a a, a, a spiritualist on their team. And the spirituals that they got, I feel like before they was dealing with some type of fake psychic or someone that was manipulating y'all connection, which is why they also walked away from you. I feel like this person clarify that spirit. Did this person get readings in the beginning of the separation? Yes. And I feel like they got readings from a fake ass spiritualist that was intervening in y'all connection. That was telling that person lies and why they walked away from your ass. And now they done got with an actual person that doesn't want to, um, you know, fuck up their life or head them down the wrong direction. So they're actually receiving their truth now. They're actually receiving the messages that they're supposed to receive. So I feel like... At one point in time, I feel like they've been getting readings for a while, but at one point in time, they was getting them from the wrong motherfucker. And somebody played you out to be the, the karmic, the not their person or whatever. And, and whatever previous one, previous spiritualist that they had was telling them to go towards the third party or go towards the karmic. Well, now they done elevated and now they actually using their intuition to discernment and they done found somebody that's actually giving them genuine channels from the most high and now they're starting to understand this connection and everything makes sense now i didn't i can't make this shit the fuck up they didn't regret this before because of the messages that they received from the from the, the psychic the fake ass psychic the fake ass reader but boy do i know i fucked up now now that they done tapped in with some that's another thing we got um that's been coming out a lot lately as well about um illusions being broken about truth being revealed okay so it could have been a lot of magic going on period that could have been how this person got set up with a, a third party i mean excuse me a fake psychic anyway because of all the illusion magic that was going on but yeah this person didn't regret leaving you at first though they felt content in their decision like they knew what they was doing and they thought they did because of the information that they got. They thought they did know what they was doing until they found out now that they fucked up. The fear I have of you rejecting me keeps me from reaching out to you. I said that earlier. Binding magic in use. Oh, so he might want you, but he's still with me. I win. Binding magic in use, so you lose. I made you wait for me, so I'll wait for you. I'm gaining the courage to shoot my shot. I miss us. Incoming communication. And we got stressed the fuck out, sleepless night, under eating and drinking. All right. Well, we're going to leave it out there. Take it as it resonates. I enjoyed you guys. If it resonated and you have not liked and followed the page just yet, please go ahead and do so. That helps my algorithm. It helps me push it out. Please hit the share button as well if you stay until the end. Or if you catch the replay and it resonated with you, go ahead and share it out for someone else so they're able to get their messages as well. I love you guys. Have a beautiful evening. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.